This is Axel Centre in association with Squared Circle Boxing. Pleasure to be joined by Tyler Denny today. Tyler, like we mentioned off camera, seems like you're kind of waiting around for a fight day at the moment, but it's good to see you down at events. And how are you feeling, mate? Yeah, I feel good. I'm in a good place. Um, if the throw date on me in the next few weeks, I'll be ready. Do you know what I mean? Um, out here sporting gym mates, Liam Davis, Zach Parker, um, other stab mates, like Owen Cooper's one today, Ian is fighting in the main event. It's, uh, it's a good time for BCB at the minute, it's busy, active. Would you say currently with BCB it's possibly one of the best times? I think so. I think in, in the history of BCB, definitely. Uh, me and Liam are European champions, he's fighting for OBO tonight. Zach Parker's always up there and thereabouts. And there's a lot to say, Owen Cooper coming through, he needs sells crazy tickets to the headline in the arena, so it's good times, man. What did you make of Owen Owen Cooper's upset type performance? Um I know I know the lads both to be fair, I spied both from as well and for me it's a 50-50 fight, so he's not really an upset for me. I just seen if Ethan could Ethan moves a lot and he got caught early. I don't think he ever recovered. And now he's a strong welterweight, to be fair. So, well done to him, man. Box, box class, I think. Well done to him. And for Liam Davis, uh, probably not going to ask for a prediction because he'll probably be out after this. But do you feel like Liam has that kind of level of potential to be that of a, a top level kind of featherweight in the division? Yeah, um, well, super bantam, and he's massive for the weight. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's huge, man. I think he's a problem for anyone. Anyone. Um, I don't expect another dominant performance from him. He's looking sharp, strong in the gym. Um, but he always does. But he always performs. So it just, you know, it's a, it's a pleasure to train with him. We push each other, and that. And I'm expecting a good performance today, and and that itself on the world stage. And when you have these magnificent seven cars there, like you mentioned, they're 50-50 type -50 fights. A lot of them, and sometimes it doesn't, you know, always go the fighter you expect's way. But you've had experiences where you've you've managed to come back from victories. And I suppose, what advice would you give to fighters in who have unfortunate losses? He's got to keep, I think. Yeah, and I think, like I speak to Lions, just this, um, it's probably never been a better opportunity for boxers now with how much uh, TV shows there is and stuff. And you might not have to do like so many small all shows to get back into an opportunity and stay ready. I think that's half the case because they're trying to slow you. Do you know what I mean? Try and show you like, a couple of weeks' notice and that, thinking we've got him, but you stay on it, man, and you'll get the opportunities. That's all you can ask for in boxing opportunities. If you attack them or not, that's up to you then. Just opportunities, and I think we get more, more and more. And you know, when you're speaking about TV shows, back to back weeks TV shows in the West Midlands, of course, the GBM show last week here today. And do you feel like it's just amazing to see West Midlands getting put on the map in boxing now? Yeah, definitely. It's good, man. And the GBM show was good, man. He's, he's been bragging about how, how good the shows are and stuff. And um, he did it, man. I went there and it, it was proper. Do you know what I mean? It's proper, proper setup, proper production. So I thought, fair play to it, man. It's coming, coming with some good stuff. And, you know, it's been a couple months since you've last fought, and I suppose in general you had a, a good rest type period since. Um, not really. I've been training, man, because I, I thought like, so I thought I was fighting in February, March. So I don't, I don't need no rest, man. I want to be active as I can. It's, uh, it's been a bit frustrating, but it is what it is. Uh, these things are gonna happen in in life, never mind boxing. So I, I, I'll be ready when it comes. But yeah. I suppose I can eat a bit more, but that's about it. But I want to get in the ring, man. I suppose to an extent, are you used to having to deal with frustrations in boxing? Yeah, there's a lot of things that happen. I think the first time I fought uh, with Wilson Bent, the rematch was like seven months after. And there was things with it was on Channel 5 and then Sky took it over. And everything seems to work out well in the, in the end. So just keep going, man. And, you know, in the middleweight division, you fought... It's pretty big names to say the least, and a lot of them. And River Wilson Ben being one of them, he had his draw last week. What did you make of that fight? Um, I was a bit, uh, I don't know what to say about him, man. He, he was getting caught a lot more than I it made me feel a bit uncomfortable watching it, really. Um, I'm not, it's not up to me and to say what to do with his grip, but like he was landing good shots as well, but he was getting caught with good shots as well. And I, I don't know, it made me think. I thought you're better than this, do you know what I mean? And I'm sure I don't need to tell him. He, he'll, he'll know that himself. But uh, yeah, it, it, I look. I, I like him. I want him to do well. Do you know what I mean? We become mates and that. But I just thought I, d I don't know. He's getting it too clearly from my liking. 
of course. And I'm sure you've a bit fed up of talking about Felix Cash at the moment, but I did want to ask one question about him. And, you know, the purse bids, not necessarily sure what's going on with them. Have you got any kind of an inclination? Well, Matt Trim have won the purse bid, so um, it's waiting on a date in the venue, but when that comes, um, that's, that's something Matt Trim have got to answer. So I've just got to stay ready for whenever whenever it is. Um, I should imagine it's going to happen because they've put the money up to, to do it, so who knows, it's just a waiting game really. And at the moment there are loads of huge Saudi Arabian events and would you love to be out on one of their shows? Would it be a huge honour to be out there? Yeah, 100%, man, 100%. If we we'll get the call for uh, my 18th, <laughs> I'm there, I'm there. So it's just, it's just awkward, but they don't, like I said, there's lots of opportunities in boxing there and Saudi is obviously where the money is. So I'm sure, ask any boxer, they're there, man, they're there. If they say no, they're lying. Of course, and one final question. I'm trying to ask this to a lot of fighters at the moment. Of course, winning is one of the best parts in boxing, but other than that, what is that of your favourite part of the sport? Just the lifestyle that you live, really. Um, I used to have a full-time job and stuff, and, you know what I mean, it, it's hard to juggle stuff. You've got a bit of flexibility. Not, obviously, I'll still train, but if something comes up, I can do it, and maybe train a bit like an hour later than I would have had to. I'd, that sort of stuff, and that's what pushes me on. I, I like having that sort of lifestyle. Outside of outside of boxing, just do what I want with the kids or something and stuff. So that's a massive thing on why I push so hard, so, so I can carry this lifestyle on. Of course, Tyler, very much appreciate your time. Thank you very much, mate. Awesome, man. Thank you.